Welcome to the WWE 2K22 My Rise Mode featuring yours truly, PJP. Or Suicide. Manic. Etc. Right here on the Suicide TNA channel. And please remember, like, subscribe, and comment if you want to see more content such as this. And for now, enjoy the video. What are you doing here? Did you get signed to NXT? No, not yet. But I hope that changes after tonight. I have a non-televised match to show management what they're missing out on. And I was hoping I could face you. Okay, I'll do it. Great. So how do we want to approach this? I'm not going to let you win or anything like that, but I'll do my best to help you look good by having an entertaining match. That work for you? Yeah, definitely, for sure. But what if you let me hit my finisher? You know, really show the bosses what I'm all about. Chase. Fine, forget I said it. But... What about a signature move? Would that be all right? Chase. Thank <laughs> you. 
If you haven't already heard, the NXT Breakout Tournament is right around the corner. This year, it's open to NXT and NXT UK superstars who've never received an NXT title opportunity, which means you're eligible. What does the winner get? Confident one, are we? The winner will earn a championship match of their choice at NXT TakeOver. So, are you interested in participating? This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. I'm in. All right. Good luck. Squeeze that shoulder out. So close. 
Down to one knee. Off of the other. One hand to Gary. Ooh, harsh kick. Lands a kick to the gut. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. Ooh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Oh, backdrop suplex. He's been placed in the corner now. That was amazing. Look at that, did here. This could be it. One, two, three. forces the shoulder up after two. He just won't give up. Yeah. Hooked up and DDT. Wild top turnbuckle. For sure. This is when you have to switch game plans. You can't let yourself get discouraged. Hey, it might be time for a change of strategy. His best move didn't get the job done. Dump suplex on the way. Uh oh, not done yet. Two amigos. <laughs> Absolutely spiked. DDT. A defiant kick out after one. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Oh, Please turn your lights out. what they want to do. Perched on the top rope. Here it is. And Wild with the wherewithal of the count. To the sky. Can Wild close things out? Two. Catch up. Just kicked out. Wow. Looks like this book 
has a couple more chapters in it. We might be seeing a whole saga written tonight. All of that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. Oh, right to the kidneys. And Wilde continues to attack with aggression as this match goes on. In the back of Wilde's mind, he has to be telling himself to finish this fight soon. I understand the sentiment, but now is not the time to bask in disbelief. Down to one knee, off of the other. Man, a knee ballast in Zagari. It's always disorienting, taking those hits above the shoulders. Oh, what a kick, right to the gut. And sent all the way to the outside. Look out! Oh, they barely give up with this. Hunter can run on the floor. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Double chicken wing. Up and... So I guess we stand in each other's way of making it to the finals? Yeah, looks that way. Who would have thought after all our battles at the PC we'd be facing each other again with so much on the line? I saw how talented you were at the PC, so I'm not surprised. But I want you to know that even though we respect each other, I'm not going to take it easy on you. I want this title opportunity more than anything. I feel the same way. So may the best man win. Phenomenon, Hector Flores. And his opponent from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 202 pounds, Hector Flores. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. Here we go, it's two 
two former training partners from the Performance Center square off in this NXT breakout tournament. A beautiful takedown for the victory. Not much behind that pin attempt. He got a little too confident with that one. Oh, man. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Kick right to the body. Oh, what a wind up. Hurricanrana! Turning the tables there. Can he do it here? Ball kicks out on the pinball attempt. An emphatic kick out, and there's still. Look at this fire. Oh, head scissors submission. An extreme amount. Ball spinning through. Look at this. This is outrageous athleticism. What a head scissor takeover. A strong head scissors application. And now the elbows. Oof. Now he's been put on the defensive. Down to one knee. What the? One and a Gary. Oh, the knee takes a big hit. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Oh, man. Good three. Turn your lights out. Brutality. Momentum is running away from Flores. And Flores is looking for a solution. These two men are giving it their all with so much at stake in this NXT breakout tournament. Irish whip. And the referee got caught sleeping. Now we're really going to find out who wants to advance. Wait a second, we've got company. It's Joaquin Wilde. Yeah, and he brought a guest of his own in the form of a kendo stick. Wilde's taking out his frustration after losing in the tournament last week. Hector Flores has no idea what just happened. And now Hector's going up top to capitalize. This could do it. And down with the broad splash. Two, three. And Flores secures the victory, advancing to the finals of the NXT Breakout Tournament. After what Wilde did tonight, I think their issue is far from over. Yeah, Joaquin Wilde just cost him a potential championship opportunity at NXT TakeOver. That's not going to sit well with anybody. I think Hector just realized what occurred, and he's not too happy about it. Too bad. Take the win and move on. This superstar looks determined tonight. Whoa, from behind. They're going to settle this right now. The backstage area just might get ripped apart. I wouldn't be surprised if they wipe out everything in sight. <laughs> you can say goodbye to any equipment back there. And to Gary. Right on the mark. Oh, oh my God, what an elbow. And an elbow. He's one step ahead there. Just a relentless series of strikes. And set him up the oh, knee to the face. That's going to hurt. 
Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Coming down with a leg drop. Down to one knee, off of the other. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. And wow, with the wherewithal to counter. Down to one knee, off of the other. Man, a knee ballast in Zagari. Quick thinking pays off. Yeah. Ow, rear European uppercut. Shifts it back onto him. Oh, right to the spine with the knee. That was vicious. Strong impact. Wild gets out of there. Ah, sit out, Matt Slam. Locking the wrist. Kamagoye on the mark. Oh no! Setting up! Oh, the ankle locks in! The ankle locks in! And is he gonna tap? Well, this isn't gonna win the fall, but it's gonna do a lot. Needs to get out of the ankle lock and does so. We are European uppercut. He is delivering elbow after elbow. He's able to fend off the attack. Reversal on Wild. Really just laying it in. Measured knee drop. On the outside. Ah, oh, clubbing blow to the back. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, here it comes! Oh, geez. Nasty kick to the face. And more hits up there can leave you dazed. Yeah. Hooked up. Suplex on the way. Uh-oh, not done yet. Two amigos! Wild holds him off. Able to get the advantage here. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Elbow 
smash. Gets him with the counter. Down to one knee. Off of the other. Man. A knee ballast in Zagari. Oh, Donna. From the ground up. So powerful. Carefully measured knee drop. Oh, well scouted by Wild. Uh oh, jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Jawbreaker! Oh. Stop. Ooh. Leg drop. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. Oh, Swanton. off the leg drop oh man what a leg drop and he's been concentrated on that area throughout this one he wants it one more time oh kick to the The issue between these two started during the NXT Breakout Tournament and will come to... Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Yeah. He let it go. Yeah, he went wide. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Taking this to the floor. Delivered into the barricade. Ribs first across the barricade. Boom. Oh, stomping away. Getting tossed. 
Oh, man, you can see he is feeling it now. And Wild with the wherewithal to counter. Oh, what a strike to the back. Returning to the ring now. He is truly feeling it right now, as well he should. Maybe that will set him up. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. Elbow to the knee, into a leg lock, and look at this brutality. Hammered away! Boom, boom, persistent barrage! Watch out! Running swinging neck breaker! Oh my goodness! Reversal on Wild! He's returning fire! Jump breaker! Face applied. Oh, just tap out. Just tap out, Nick. Oh, look at Oh, man. One blow, all it took. Oh, nice deep arm drag. Looks like Wild has taken the upper hand. Yeah, Woken with an impressive yeah. offense. Oh, snap there, driver. He can do it here.
I know you already have a match tonight, but I'm desperate. Some WWE execs are coming from LA, but their flight is delayed. They won't get here until after the NXT taping is over. Wanna be a team player and put on a non-televised match for the execs and audience after the show? I'm not sure if you've heard, but Finn Balor is now the longest reigning NXT champion of all time. Yeah, I know. 
And it's not hard to be a record-breaking champion when your contract says all your title defenses must have a five-minute time limit. But remind me again who allowed that to happen. I regret letting that slip through the cracks, but I'm trying to fix it, which is why I wanted to talk to you. Are you giving me an NXT title opportunity? I wouldn't say giving. Because of Finn's unique time limit stipulation, I'll only choose his next challenger if they can first prove that they can beat another top opponent in under five minutes. Sort of like a tryout match, huh? Something like that. So, what do you think? Do you want to give this a shot or no? Someone has to put an end to this, and I want to be the one who does. Splendid. I'll line up your opponent for the five-minute trial run. Let's see what you can do. Wrist. Oh, the counter. 
Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Nice landing. Back in. Oh, wow. What an elbow. That was forceful. Ooh. Oh, leaping through the air. His shoulders are down. Gets the shoulder up after one. This isn't even close to over. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Down to one knee. What the? Man. A knee ballast in Zagari. Dijakovic's attack gets reversed. Setting him up for the flatliner. He's lost some of his win now. Producing a trampling. Oh, man. Three. Turn your lights out. Reversal. What a Powerless position to be in right now. Oh, right to the throat. Quickly, the cover. He kicks out instantly. Maybe that was just to keep his opponent off balance. Top rope, putting it all on the line. Yeah. Hits him with the counter. Soaring. He paid for that one. Oh, man. Big time. Series of reversals. Counter. And now there's an opening. A running home counter. Beautiful. Oh, swan time. Snapmare. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Kick right in the face. Ooh. He's got the answer for that one. He can end it here. And he easily stops the ref's count. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. That'll ring your bell. Eye on the counter. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. Combo of strikes. Just a clinic. Stop me in your tracks. Yeah. Down to one knee. What the? What an it Gary. <laughs> to the abdomen. He turns it around. Oh, that'll leave a mark. And respond to the counter of their own.
technical assassin of Legato Del Fantasma. If Mendoza hears sarcasm in that, he'll meet you in the parking lot. And his opponent, representing Legado Del Fantasma from Cordoba, Veracruz, Mexico, weighing in at 190 pounds, Raul Mendoza! Well, here's a man who grew up idolizing Eddie Guerrero. Well, Mendoza and Legado Del Fantasma continue to carry the torch of the live cheat and steal mentality. This man spent four years in NXT trying to break through before joining Legado Del Fantasma. Santos Escobar and Joaquin Wilder taught Mendoza the discipline needed to reach new heights. As if this match wasn't compelling enough, but when you throw in the no disqualifications to... Oh, shoot! He can be seen in submission here! He's got it locked in! It's locked in! A single leg camel clutch and a great counter. <laughs> Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Uh-oh. Oh, you win. We have company. It's the NXT champion, Finn Balor, here to scout his future opponent. Yeah, but where is he? Playing mind games, I guess. Finn's behind it. Look out. Oh, right in there. There's a snapmare. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Kick right in the face. Ooh. Oh, taking it right to him. No waiting. What a head scissor takeover. Mendoza is having problems here. Yeah, Mendoza is having trouble fighting back. Springboard misses the target. Oh, that was inventive. He is just reeling from that offense. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Vicious. Relentless series of strikes. Kick right to the face. He's going for it all. With a high throw and a high counter. Cross landing. He deflects it right back. 
Oh my God! DDT! Spike them. And now he's taking control. Just producing an onslaught. What an insecurity. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. From the top. Are you kidding me? He's finding himself in trouble here. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. These two showing how well scouted they eat. Double chicken wing. Outfit. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. Focus and drive in the eyes of Finn Balor. 
When it comes to Finn Balor, it's always about competing at the highest of levels. Introducing the challenger from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 190 pounds, TJP! And introducing the champion from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, he is the NXT Champion, Finn Balor! Defended all across the globe on sold out takeovers. This NXT title has a lot of prestige. Watches because only five minutes separates the challenger from Finn Balor's NXT Championship. Finn is defending his title against a superstar who truly believes it's his time. Maybe, but it's going to be hard to beat Finn Balor in his own game. And remember, Balor just has to outlast the clock to hang on to his NXT Championship. His opponent has to win, and time's ticking. Weird European uppercut. Jump. Picking up speed. Running knee strike. He moved, but can he capitalize? Fighting back with a counter. Just a relentless series of strikes. Firm control. Oh, God. What a shot to the face. Down to one knee, off of the other. Man, a knee ballast in Zagari. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Big slam. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Lands the elbow. Oh, that might have just broken something. He'll take things into the ring. Oh, stomping away. And Balor's attack gets cut off. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. That's how you impress. Running Swanton finds the mark. Dropping the leg. Look at this. This is outrageous athleticism. What a head scissor takeover. Oh, that hurt to the spine. Picking the spot. Down to one knee. What the? What an answer game. And Balor's being picked apart now. Finn really having trouble with his defense. Oh, pinpoint kick to the back. Strikes and Finn was ready. Here comes Balor. Finn Balor. Slipway. As the challenger, Finn. Is this it? Wasting no time getting his shoulder up. Able to get that shoulder up so quickly. What a statement. Running Hurricane Rana. And proving a bit slippery for them there. And he's 
able to reverse. He got whipped into that corner. Uh oh, wrist lock. Springboard. DDT. Finn turns it around. Quick strike to the lower body. Look at this, going counter for counter. Oh man, kick to the face. Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. And a high splash. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. We knew it was not going to be an easy task to put the champion away. And that's being proven right now. More like a champion's proving that sooner perish than lose their title. And it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall. Look at that. Let's hear what our brand new NXT champion has to say. I stand here before you tonight as proof that a lot can happen in five minutes. That's all the time it took from my life and the course of NXT history to be changed forever. And whether you like me or not, I can promise you one thing. You're going to get a whole lot more than five minutes of me. Hold on. We know what this means. We thought we were about to see Demon Finn Balor, but what is this? It appears to be some kind of demon spawn, for lack of a better term. Whatever it is, it can't be good for the NXT champion. And these demon minions are swarming the champion. They're tearing him to pieces. This was clearly a message from Finn Balor that their issue is far from over. And there he is, the demon himself, Finn Balor, here to survey the damage that his minions delivered. And those minions just scattered. Like, even they were afraid of the demon. I've never seen anything like this. Our NXT champion thought he'd conquered Finn Balor, thought that he had dethroned the Prince, but now he's dealing with an entirely different beast. That's right, Corey. And from what we just witnessed, I think we might be looking at a very short NXT championship reign. I apologize, but I'm about to tell you about your first NXT title defense before I've even had the chance to formally congratulate you on becoming champion. It's not ideal. Let me guess. I'm facing Demon Finn Balor. Yes, if his coordinated attack on you wasn't clear enough, 
He's demanding a no disqualification rematch against you at NXT TakeOver. And before you say anything, he did indeed have a rematch clause where he got to pick the stipulation and I'm fully aware of the missteps we made with his contract. Well, as long as you know it. I can offer some advice if you'll take it. If you want your title reign to last longer than one match, I suggest you go and speak to the only man who ever defeated the demon, Samoa Joe. Thanks for agreeing to meet with me. You came to my show. It wasn't that big of a deal. Well, either way, I'm not going to waste your time with small talk. I'm here because I want to know how to defeat Demon Finn Balor. And you're the only man who's ever done it. I figured that's what this was all about. You know, not a day goes by where I don't think about how I nailed that painted up freak with the muscle buster and then pinned him in the ring. One, two, three. Sounds like it really made an impact on you. No, not really. It just seemed like you were hoping for that kind of vibe. I really haven't thought about it too much since it happened. Okay, so then do you at least have any advice on how I could take him down? I have an idea. But first, I want a favor from you in return. I've been battling Braun Strowman for a while. It could gain a bit of an edge if you help me out. And how would I do that? Braun's got a match tonight. Jump him on his entrance. If it was me doing it, he'd be ready. But he'll never expect it coming from you. I'll do it. Whatever risk I take going after Braun is worth any advantage I can gain against Finn. All right. I'll be watching. What the heck? What's he doing here? More importantly, what's he doing attacking Braun Strowman? Is he insane? We have an NXT superstar attacking the monster among men on Raw. All hell is broken loose. I can't believe you actually did it. That took some major guts, which you'll also need to take down Demon Finn. So what can I do that will help secure the win? Is there something about the muscle buster that targeted some unknown weakness? Or do I need to find my inner demon to counter his? No, none of that. You took out Braun, so I'll return the favor and take out Finn in your title match. That's it? That's it. I guess I was expecting something deeper or a little more unexpected. Do you want my help or no? As much as I want to defeat the demon and guarantee that I hold on to my championship, I'd rather do it on my own than winning in some cheap way. There's nothing cheap about winning at all costs. But if you want to take some kind of moral high ground, suit yourself. Saves me the trip to take over. The following contest is scheduled for one fall in East Four. And don't be 
surprise that history has made here tonight. I know the champ has looked good as of late, but I'd say the opposition has looked just as good, if not better. Many are predicting a title change here tonight, but this man is looking to prove otherwise. Introducing the challenger, the Demon Finn Balor! And introducing the champion from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 190 pounds. He is the NXT Champion, Man Nick. It's time for our NXT Championship match, and the atmosphere is simply indescribable. 
The NXT champion is about to defend his title in a no disqualification match against one of the most unstoppable opponents of all time, Demon Finn Balor. The champ has proven he's not afraid of monsters after attacking the monster among men, so I like his chances to defend his title tonight. Jumping Braun Strowman during his entrance is one thing, but facing off against the Demon Finn Balor for an entire match, those are two. Just got scary close to the three count there. Okay, back here. Leg Larian. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. He turns it around. Finn gets stuck in his tracks. Ooh, kick finds it. A strong head scissors application. And now the elbows. Vicious. Ah, to the back. And Balor's being picked apart now. Finn really having trouble with his defense. And that might be the start of the momentum swing Balor needed. Could be what Balor needed to ignite a rally. Basement drop kick. Just breaking down the opponent. Oh, right in there. Oh my gosh, the lights are out. They're back on. Look behind you. Matt Slam with some attitude. Sling blade. The NXT champion's reign could be coming to an end after only one match. Setting up for the coup de grace. It's Samoa Joe. What's he doing here? Joe's setting up for a muscle buster. The only move that's ever defeated the demon. And he nails it. We're going to see history repeat itself. What the hell? It's Braun Strowman. The monster of a menace here. This is payback for what the NXT champion did to Braun on Raw. Running power slam. It looked like the NXT champion was going to escape with his title thanks to Samoa Joe. But now all hell has broken loose. Yeah, now it seems that neither Joe or Braun will play a role in the outcome of this match. If the champion's going to defeat the Demon, he's going to have to do it on his own.
like this. Suplex delivered. Kick and set all the way to the outside. Look out. They barely give up with this. Hurricane Rana on the floor. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. He steps foot in the ring again. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Oh, there's a response again. Soaring. <laughs> Unbelievable athleticism. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. Yeah, not looking good at all. Balor's lost momentum here. Finn's getting exposed. Locked in on the shoulder. A strong head scissors application. And now the elbows. Vicious, aggressive attacks. He leaves the ring and there's no cutouts in this one. In the ring we go. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, man, what a strike. Oh, hang on for dear life. Oh, you powerbomb. Pin attempt for the championship. The champion with a quick shoulder up. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. I'm really afraid. Ouch. What a combo. Treating the torso to yet another attack. Finn Balor to the top rope. Oh. A relentless series of strikes. Balor shows the wherewithal. Balor is oh. The champ shoulders are down. Champ nervous. How? How? A sling blade. Followed up with a face drop kick. Oh, kick to the side of the face. Oh. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of these. Shifting the ties. Finn is being worked on heavily. Finn turns it around. Balor able to stop the blitz that was coming his way. Good game, Balor. Need to do that around him. And Finn Balor connected nicely there. Rocked his opponent. He's focused on breaking down his opponent's core right now. Taking away the center of all the movement.
hope to survive another day. And nothing to scoff at with that win, gentlemen. They got it done. They're a club for losers. Finn Balor can join after that performance. Yeah, the sex club. Hey, looks like somebody made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and please check out NX Gamer, Zatharax, and Manic Impact. Until then, I am...